Hi, this is your host Abdul Bharatiya here at Open Source Summit in Dublin. And today we have with us John Fontanage, your head of engineering at Gina AI. First of all, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much for having me. Now let's talk about Gina AI. First of all, tell us a bit about the company itself. So our company was founded in 2020 and we are working, we are trying to build a, an ecosystem to help developers to build neural search and multimodal machine learning applications and bring them to the cloud. This is our aim and this is what we are working for. Now let's talk about the open source aspect, you know, and you're involved with the Linux Foundation as well. So the, our, we have many open source projects, but the main one and the first one that we have, and it's where it's named after our company is Gina, and this is an MLOps framework to build neural search and multimodal machine learning applications. And, for, and this is the main project from which all of our other projects depend and work upon. Can you talk about the scope of Gina project? Because Linux Foundation, they have a lot of other projects. So what Gina does is in this uh, in this world of neural search and multimodal machine learning applications is quite new. We don't we don't develop directly the models, or we are not in the research part of these models. We are trying to at every touch point of the developer from building their own local application until bringing them to the cloud until production and to have tools that help them and empower them to build these applications easily and saving time and headaches for them. What are the scope of G, uh, Gina you see in the, in the market itself? Because we kind of live in a world where more and more things are getting driven by AI, ML technologies, you know, everything, you know, a lot of data is collected, analytics is done to extract value from the data, not only to make their services more appealing to customers, because in, in a lot of other cases, it's just to improve the service itself. And sometimes you're serving the customer directly because that service impacts how customer uses that. So talk about where it is being used. So it is it has been used mostly on these neural search applications, and the scope of Gina is to empower not only the big players to, to make use of these applications or teams with maybe less resources so that only the, with a focus on your business logic to be able to have an impact and to scale your product and to bring valuable products to the to your customers. Can you give an example of some of those applications? So with NeuroSearch you can do for instance to search images given text, to search audio given um, text as well. So this is what Gina focuses on, on building this multi-cross model applications. Can you also, as you said, you know, there are big players, small, can you give, if you can give names, that would be great. If you cannot give the names, if you can just give example, these are the industries that are using Gina. In many industries, I, I know even the, the type of applications that is powered and that you can, where you can use neural search is, is very high. So uh, from video games industry to um, edu um, ed tech industry. So everywhere you, you may have a, some part of your applications might be based on these technologies. So maybe it's not the main core of it, but part of the application or the value that you bring to the customer may, may involve these kind of applications and these kind of interactions between data. So in any of these cases, Gina can help. Can you talk about for how long you have been involved with the Linux Foundation? So I worked in Gina since almost the start, so since 2020. And I think Gina, since, the found, since its birth, is involved in the Linux Foundation in the, I think it, we were founded in February 2020. And Gina is an open source project. Talk a bit about the community itself. Of course, your company is involved. What are the other players who are involved with the project, who contribute the code or? So we are mainly driven by the community, not only in terms of code contribution, but through our Slack and through our GitHub, um, our community is, is reporting bugs. Is asking for, 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 uh, for features and so on. So we are kind of steered by the community, and this is helpful for them because they get what they desire, and for us because it's a it's a very easy and fast way to get feedback. So that's the benefit of open source for a business like us. Since we are here at the Open Source Summit, what is the presence of Gina here? Uh, talks, booths, sessions, panels, what are you folks doing here? So we are here to, to do a workshop on one of our projects um, that is focused on generative AI. That is, uh, we are trying to show how you can use Gina to create awesome art driven by AI. And also another presentation to present our open source MLOps framework Gina to the to to the summit. Let's talk about uh, 
commercialization aspect of open source because you know open source itself will not succeed if there is no commercial angle or because that's what supports it you know that's what sustains it so talk about uh, what kind of business model gina ai has so we are developing uh so we have our core is open source but we are developing some products around our our open source project that can add value and that this is some uh, way to productization and then another another part of our productization strategy is to um offer these open source and bring them to the cloud and as and it can be in our cloud so we can kind of monetize from that side also that customers can use it on their cloud in an easier way so that we handle the provisioning and all the challenges that come with that Jean, thank you so much for taking time out today and you know talk about the project, the company, your presence at the event. And uh, this is the first time we're meeting, but I look forward to talk to you again in a few years. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.